everybody, it's Titanic Fee Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. Today we're about to take a look at a sneaker that came back to us from 10 years ago. Yeah, 10 years ago. Uh, probably know what I'm talking about already. I'm just getting the sneaker in hand. The shipping was delayed. I guess I'm starting to feel the uh, rush of the holiday shipping already. And we're just now in the first couple days of December the last days of November and just not getting the shoes but I need a couple of things from you before we get into it I need you guys to hit that like button on today's video it helps the channel out a lot I need you to sub up to the channel if you haven't already do hit that notification bell and leave a comment in the comment section let me know your thoughts on the video and the sneaker we are about to look at now, as I said earlier, this sneaker first came to us back in 2013 alongside two other silhouettes. And those silhouettes are all in the Air Jordan family. You're going to look at the Air Jordan 3. You see the box, you already know what it is. The Air Jordan Retro 3 Fears. You see that box tag. Gonna read it to you. It says Air Jordan 3 Retro and the color is Night Stadium and total orange. This is a size 15 B large. Now the retail price on these was forgive me guys, I'm not good at remembering these retail prices, but it's like 200 or 210 dollars. And this sneaker is still sitting. You can go to your local mall and find this sneaker sitting. As I show you these stamps right here along this liner and look at that green and white YCM sticker right there and you do have your paper smooth on that side a little rough on the other and the paper says become scared of what I won't become okay that's the message behind it I'm scared of what I might become. That's why we call it these the fears. So here's the box. There's the back of the box. Let's get into Here we go, guys. We have the Air Jaw Retro 3 Fear. This sneaker comes back to us uh, in 2013. Jordan Brand blessed us with the Air Jaw 3s, the 4s, and the 5, which is better known as the Air Jaw Fear Pack. This is the first one to retro out of that pack. So maybe, perhaps we're going to get the other two, the fours and the fives. We'll see. But I'm all here for it. If we can get the uh, fours, I probably will get the fives to complete the pack. Depends on how they uh, retro them. Because you know, they never bring them back exactly like the original. They make a couple tweaks to the sneaker and sometimes it it's a hit or miss but we got that all over new buck material on your upper this material is nice and smooth they call it nice stadium it's almost like a deep deep gray you got some black uh new buck right here you got your gray uh lace eyelets right here and you do have your total orange eyelets right there and right here uh Going around the mud guard, this material here is a cracked leather and it's also in a nice stadium colorway. You do have your elephant print right here at the toe. It's a little different than threes on your uh, previous threes, I should say, on the heel and the toe. It's normally uh, opposite. They did it a little opposite, so that's pretty cool. Looking at the midsole, you do have a polyurethane midsole. You got white on here. You got the little threading going on there. And you got that transition. You got like a gray that bleeds into the night nice stadium. And you do have that paint splatter on here. You got a clear bubble. You got the total orange inside of this polyurethane mids midsole. Excuse me. Looking at the outsole of the sneaker, you have that total orange hit right there on the forefoot. And Jordan is spelled out in that total orange colorway. And you do have 
a night stadium color this is not black it's night stadium color on the uh, bottom of your outsole looking at your uh, back heel tab is that night stadium colorway with a total orange Jordan Jumpman logo with air underneath it and you get a good look at that elephant print going on there and you see you got that splatter going on the heels right there as I take you guys to the medial side of the sneaker you can have more of that new buck material in that nice stadium colorway you got the molded eyelets right here and there in the total orange colorway you do have a gray set of eyelets right there which is accompanied by some black new buck right there you got more of that cracked leather going on here on your mud guard your polyutherane midsole that gray fading into the uh black in the splatter or a nice stadium i should say fading into the black with the splatter and look like they put a coat of <laughs> look like they put a coat of clear on here excuse me guys as i show you that uh clear bubble with the uh total orange inside yeah it's pretty shiny right here on that midsole Let's come around, let's reach inside. We do have tissue. It's the death of shoe trees. No more shoe trees. Look like that's what Nike said. Here is the insert, a black insert, total orange jaw jump man with the side 15 sticker right there. And here's your toe box. Very little change of direction on here but I do notice some change of direction. These are the only laces that come with the black flat laces. Uh, you do have a uh, nice new buck uh, tongue and you do have a total orange woven jaw jump man. I'm sorry, and broader jaw jump man on the top of the tongue in the total orange colorway. You do have a night nice stadium color sock liner going all the way around. Nice and soft, kind of feels like that t-shirt material. And here you guys go. Here's a look at that size and tag. You can read it and I'm gonna read it for you guys. It says USI fitting things, production date, March the 1st of 2023 to June 26th of 2023. So almost uh four months of production with these so let me know your thoughts on these this is another sneaker that's actually sitting in the stores probably would go on sale i uh suggest if you want these don't pay resale you can probably uh wait till they go on sale because currently the uh the raw your matches nike discounted these they going for like 130 on nike right now but i still didn't buy that shoe because i have my 2017 so maybe the same will happen for these maybe not not sure but uh i had to get my size again because it's a shoe i never had in 2013 and when i learned that they were coming out i was like i'm gonna get it can't wait for it to go on sale because my size are very limited. It pretty much sells out fairly quickly. So, and we're going to talk about the sizing on these. Sizing on the Air Jordan 3s. This is for me, me personally. I size up in my 3s because these new 3s that they've been making the past few years, they've been running exact and very snug and it feels a little uncomfortable. So, I size up. I size up to size 15. If you have a half size, say for instance, you wear size 11, size 11 and a half is available for you. So that's why you are able to size up a half size. Me, myself, I have to size up a whole size. So if you don't like your sneakers tight or fitting exact, I do strongly recommend sizing up. But that wraps up the video. Let me know your thoughts and comments on this sneaker. And like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.